Hey guys, welcome to another week here with the Tyrolean. Wonderful Saturday, actually a little hot. It's 30 degrees Celsius or 86 Fahrenheit today. It is a little hot, especially also in the, inside the house since we don't have any air conditioning right now. On Saturday, we got a full load done to actually to the landfill where we're supposed to go to. Not the transfer station, but the landfill. I haven't figured out the transfer station this year yet. But we got that done. And now Caleb helped me actually getting some more of the lath removed. So I think I maybe have one more day left of removing the last few pieces everywhere. And then we'll be done. We just have to bring it all to the landfill. And then really it's time for deep cleaning, running with the um, shop vac and also the, the blower through it just to make sure we got to get all the dust out of the house before we really start running electrical, plumbing, and do any of the other work. It is Sunday and another really hot day here at the house. But luckily I got a lot of stuff actually done. I got all the lath removed here in the back, in the staircase, upstairs and downstairs. There was still some spot in the dining room, uh, some smaller rooms upstairs. I got a little of those stragglers uh, removed in the, in the top areas that I could reach. Did not get the front staircase, the last part of the ceiling done, but I think that's gonna be ha happening next week, especially since Caleb is not gonna have time next week, so I'll be alone. I might do a load by myself, just depending on what the timeline is, and then 
the rest I will just try to get next week so that the following week we really can be done with all the plaster. One of the questions that a lot of people ask me all the time is if I'm regretting yet doing such a large project by myself. Actually, what I tell people always is this is really a fun project for me. I am happy that you know I can get out of the house, not because that I don't like being at home, but mainly because I work. 40, 50 hours a week in front of the computer and therefore I'm just happy that I can do something physical and if that means in the future we can live here, have a wonderful house, that's just an extra reward. So instead of going paying $100 to a gym every month, I can just come to my house and work on it. So I really enjoy that aspect but I also just enjoy doing something with my hands and therefore I am not regretting it yet. Obviously there's times I'm like okay I'm done with removing plaster. Um, you guys are not the only ones being tired of watching plaster removals every week. I am too. You know I'm happy when we are done with removing the plaster and I can actually maybe start running the plumbing, maybe start running the electrical, um, th figuring out uh, what walls to move, what walls to change, any of those kind of things. I am looking forward to that. I'm even looking forward to installing windows again. I, uh, For the people that don't know, I installed windows for a living for about a year and a half with somebody in Denver, Colorado for a while. And I enjoyed it, but you know, obviously it's a lot of physical labor. I'm looking forward to doing that again here in my own house. I enjoy seeing it all come together and yeah I could just pay somebody doing it and have more free time myself. It's also about the road getting there and not just seeing the finished product. And also I probably uh, picking in certain aspects uh, how certain things need to be done so I'm just happy that I can do it myself and not have to 
figure out with a contractor uh, if it's done correctly the way I want it or not. One of the areas we haven't given you guys any tour yet is the basement. So as we walk down the stairs, you can see here is where we store some of the furniture temporarily. It's gonna be probably the workshop area. I'll probably have a big workbench over here, um, some of the tools set up, and then maybe more of a metal workshop area over here. Here is the stairs that we just walked down. And then over here, in Stark, I will turn on the light in a second. But here's a big area, a uh, bigger space that we are not 100% sure yet what we're gonna do with. But there is the exit that we had in a couple of videos before, and that's basically going out into our backyard. Um, and then over here is where we have been storing all our wood. This is all the different trim from the windows and then over there, or no, actually this might actually be the doors because it has longer pieces too. And then over here in a corner we have been storing all our window trim. Here you can see we have brand new electrical panels that aren't really set up yet. There's maybe like two or three uh, things plugged in. And then I'd assume over here is going to come uh, be turning into the utility room. And see, it's a very large space. It's actually the entire footprint of the house. There's the basement here, and I would guess this is probably eight foot ceilings in here. And there's one additional room that is a room that sits right below the balcony upstairs and that's just a room here going out another door into the into the backyard you can see here you have a little stairs going down and here's our backyard and yes we have mowed our backyard because nobody sees it and we are not using it so really we haven't done anything about the plant life back here well, I hope everybody enjoyed the video again this week, just like I enjoyed the weekend working on the house. And I hope to see you all guys next week. Thanks. Bye.